All right, so here we are. I'm turning a regular 10 gallon tank into a rimless aquarium. So first off, I had to use a scraper, pretty much scrape around the edges of the rim here, all around the edges of the whole entire thing, inside and out. It wasn't much on the inside though. Ripped it off, ended up ripping it into pieces. The corners, the sealant is extremely thick. So I've been scraping them off. I should have started this video from the very beginning. However, oh, here we are. Um, so I, I've cleaned this one up a little bit. It's still a little bit rough, but I'll continue to clean that up and it'll begin to look very nice. So I'll, I'll uh, snip, s uh, attach this video to another one with it when it's all done and uh, full of water here. So this is the beginning stages. Now I'm going to buff the edges of the glass here. There's still some silicone residue here that I can't really get off of the razor blade without um, scratching it. So what I'm going to end up doing is buffing it out with um, cerium oxide with this buffing wheel here. It's already been, I've used it a few times using the cerium oxide. You do two parts water and then two parts of the cerium oxide and then you use just a regular drill and just buff it out. I'll show you the result as soon as it's, uh, it's done. It's a little hard to make a video, buff it out at the same time. I don't want really to just do any of these videos from uh, my cell phone here, so it's a little difficult. So we'll be back. up looks pretty good so far after I sanded it sanded the top edge to make sure that I don't get cut I had to use a razor blade buff it out with the uh, cerium oxide just to help try to get a good finish the cerium oxide will actually help to get rid of any of these small scratches or anything um, that I might have caused from the razor blade the edges are still a little rough. Let me try to zoom in here. Still a little rough. But, I mean, you know, you stand this far away, uh, you really can't even tell. So, I need to make sure that it uh, holds water pretty good. Filling it up with some RDI water. Um, if it, you know, if it leaks or anything like that, I can just use this water from my other tanks. It's not going to stand. This is my 90 gallon stand. This is just temporary. Just checking it out. <laughs> 